Hi, Mr. Oh, Mac. Yeah. Where's Alex? Damn, I wish I had my sunglasses. I ain't cool enough. It's your boy. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> she! <laughs> it's your pin player, Mac. Alex Mac, to be exact. And I'm here in the building with the one and only. Well, Zach can find me is Kayla Don. Pleasure to meet y'all. You feel me? I mean, pleasure to see you again. How y'all been? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, so we got our Bowser glasses out today, right, Will? On the edge? On the edge, got to stay on point. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Follow my face, it's going to be a disgrace, but you're going to get, ah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, a little spike. Yeah. yeah. Where we at today? What's uh, what's on the agenda? Where we going? Man, today, Pet Media Lounge. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people are like, they're hearing the whispers about it, and now they're getting to understand what's going on. The really? last Saturday, you got to be prepared for tomorrow. Because the last Saturday, after that's what? Sunday. Sunday, the last Sunday of every month. Yeah. Just where we at. Great singers, great talents, great musician. You know what I'm saying? Good drinks, good food, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. You were chefing it up today, too, my boy. Yeah, yeah. boy. You know what I mean? That boy was chefing up the last time. I said, man, I got to do something, too. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. You know, we got to get Came some chef hats out. or something. Chef hats. And the little jackets, too. Well, uh, would you prefer the black one or the, or the white one? Person. I'm gonna just keep the gloves because I kid you not, I don't gloves. like suits. I don't like suits, man. I get it. It does kind of add like a little official though, where you can get the little buttons. So you can get the little buttons on. No, I just don't like suits. I understand. Would you never wear a suit? Would you wear a suit to a funeral? No, I'm gonna wear a track suit. Track suit to the funeral? That's a that's like a vibe shit. right there. All right. What about to suit to court? Man, he already seen my record, so it ain't really make no difference how I'm trying to act. <laughs> so it's like, it's like going to the bank. People be dressing up to go to the bank, bro. They know you broke. What the fuck you doing? <laughs> like, they can see how much money you got, bro. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, but really, I might wear a suit, but it's just like right now, what my state of mind is, you feel me? Like, I try to represent myself as much as possible uh, to the truth. Like, um, sometimes people might look at me, but if you're just looking at a surface level, you never really know. That goes for everybody, you know. Um, I'm not special in that regard because people do judge you off your appearance. But the last funeral I went to, I didn't have a suit. But that was my brother, though, like to this mm. day. You feel me? R.I.P. Stripes. You feel me? Like, he was one of those dudes. I look into the future, and I'm like, bro, this dude's playing with my kids. You feel me? And now he just not here. Like, you know, I cried one time the whole time, like, but it feels like I've been crying ever since then, you know? Internally type shit? Yeah. Like, sometimes I want to give up on the whatever I'm doing. I'm like, you told me to tighten the fuck up. You feel me? So I tighten the fuck up. Yeah. Is that those type of things, is that something that you feel weighs heavy on you artistically? Like, from your creation standpoint? Or where do you feel like, because I imagine, like, you know, you... Uh, from conversation we've had, like, you know, there's a backstory to who Kayla Don is, right? Yeah, um, sometimes it's like, when I make music, I come up with a topic first. Because mm -hmm. there's so much I could talk about. And there's so much perceptions, perspectives, because I like to listen, I used to like to listen more than I talk. But then it's like, sometimes people treat you weird when you're quiet. So you got to learn how to talk. And then people tell you, say you talk too much. But it's like, you told me I didn't talk enough and now I talk too much. And then it's like, oh, you're trying to be mysterious. It's like, you can't make people happy at all. But Real. I've learned to kind of find that balance. When it comes to what happens in life sometimes, it's like, I made a couple of songs about him I haven't dropped. I just wrote. It's kind of like writing a diary. Mm. You feel me? So I've written like three songs um, in his name. Um, I wrote a couple of songs about some other guys too. But that's the thing. Sometimes th some things are just meant to be personal. You know, it's all in God's hands. You know what I'm saying? Um, I do plan on dropping one, but I want to drop it at the right time where it's not like, you know, because I want to put respect on his name. You know what I'm saying? I want also when I drop it, I want everybody to hear it. So I got to be like, I got to be up. I got to be hot. And like, you know, it's got to be like, yo, I want y'all to hear this. It's a real nigga I'm talking about. Yeah. And that's real though too. Because as an artist, like, the things that we touch on subject matter wise like can be so personal that sometimes it's like this isn't meant for the whole world right now but mm -hmm. then there's that like urge for yourself where it's like oh I made it I gotta put it out there right mm -hmm. sometimes with an artist but how do you feel 
like translating that how much do you, how much of your life and how much of you do you put into the music that you release to the world versus like trying to hold back for whatever reason if you have a reason feel free to share but how do, how do you feel about that the diary versus like some things is like uh sometimes i gotta think more business sometimes i go off the vibe but there's been a lot of times where i go into studios and i wrap my heart out and i just delete the whole track because hmm. it's like i put too much of myself out there and i'm a very emotional person so okay if I put it out there and I don't get the reaction I want, I'm going to react. You know what I'm saying? Like I was talking to this one little shorty and um, she said, oh, because the girl didn't, like, I opened the door. I got a habit of opening doors for people, you feel me? And it's like days, weeks, like this is the 30th time I opened the door for her and she didn't say thank you. I said, you're welcome. And she looked at me and then she looked me up and down. No. And it was like, she didn't say it, but it sounded like she said, Bitch ass nigga, it sound like she my part of my language. It sound like she it sound like she said some disrespectful stuff. Just in that look, right? Yeah, just yeah. in that look. And then her sex tape got leaked a little later. And I said, that's what you get. Now Not so, related at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I felt that I was God, but like, you know, that's what you get for disrespecting somebody. Else. Right. I was opening doors for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And God God got you right. Got, now your crazy. business out there, your coochie on the internet. That's what you get. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a different level when the coochie hit the internet. Bro. <laughs> oh, it hit different when the coochie on the internet. <laughs> when everybody know the pooty cat. <laughs> but she said, oh, you allowing someone to make you go. Like, yeah, I allowed someone to get me out of character. But I'm laughing because God got me at that moment. You feel me? I, I held my tongue. I didn't say anything. I said, you know, God got me. Two weeks later, her sex tape leak. You feel know I me? Mean? Yeah, so God had me on that one. So that's why I was like, sometimes, sometimes it's like, okay, I'm gonna drop this song. Like freaking um, last year, I had started writing it. Also, sometimes I think writer's block is like a God gift from God. Like, writer's uh, block. Yeah. Okay, let me hear. No, it's not a song. No, 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 no <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, let me hear like how oh, writer's oh, block is sometimes. Because yeah. it's like, okay, you be talking about something, but because you're going through it right now, you don't really know the full perspective of it. So you just talking about your emotion. You might have the hook yeah. or you might have that verse. Yeah. But because you're so in that moment, you can't really give an opinion. Because you're speaking from an emotional standpoint where this is supposed to be educational and beneficial to society, to the people around you. Because some legit, somebody going to listen to this and they're going to base their entire personality off of that song. Hmm. So now when you come back with a fresh mind, it's like, okay, you said this in this part. You feel me? Like, Meek Mill and his situation, but I used to pray for times like this and shine like this. So I had to grind like that. You know what I'm saying? That got me through a whole lot of shit. That's a lot of stuff. You know, expensive pain. You feel me? Nah, like, you know, the, the situation with, uh, you know, Mr. Sean. Uh, so it's a whole new meaning now. But for me, at that time, it was like expensive pain because this music stuff is expensive. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But it also hurts. All the no's, all the doors slamming your face. A lot of opportunities that you feel like you deserve when you see somebody who hasn't even put in a quarter of the work you put in. Get an opportunity. You happy for them, but it's like you feel like you just got spite. That's expensive pain. Because I really just got paid to be disrespected. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So with each one of those songs, it's like, okay, you go say something. I base my personality around that. But then you say something that contradicts that and it helps me mature and understand like, I could feel some type of way, but I gotta move different. If you had to, uh, if you had to describe the growth, spiritual growth, evolution process of Kayla Don, of you, how would you try to describe that to somebody? Like, obviously, like you'd say, like you know, listen to the music, bro. But like, ah, uh, yeah, you try, <laughs> you know, for real. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. But uh, would you say like for, you know, because exactly like. That's something for you to be mindful of that. Like, oh, you know, the there's some kid that's going to hear this and they're going to base their style off this. They're going to base like that. Like, can you picture yourself listening to you, if you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I feel like a lot of my songs I'm, I, I like. But there's also, too, it's like there's some songs where people are like, oh, this song ain't really like... Because people get used to some of my songs being so, oh, I can hear this on the radio. And then they hear some songs I don't think. I say, yo, no, when you get in that emotion, like when you get broken hearted sometimes, like when you sing a, a love song, you know you're not hitting the keys, but you just I feel the pain when I say the words like this. When I like ah, when you crack that that note, cause like the pain and it just feels more 
You feel me? So some songs is just like some people might think it's trash. So it's like, watch, go through that same situation. You are gonna feel it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I can't change. I've been listening to that song. You know what I'm saying? Uh, me and my shorty, we broke up. Um, and it's like I can't change because it's like I still got the same habits of before I met her. And it's like I tried to lower that when I was with her, but then I also realized too, because I had those habits, I had made a structure for, to control myself, and the, that structure didn't just control my bad habits; it elevated the good habits that I did have. Hmm. So taking that away took a, a big part of me away too. So I can't change. I can't change for you. I just gotta change for me, and I don't change for me. I just change. How much do you think relationships versus like the individual defines their personal development? I mean, you, relationships you, necessary for personal development, or do you think you can go out to the desert by yourself? Yes, yes, yes. Both. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't. Because a yes can't be a no. You know what I'm saying? So you can have a chapter in your life where you're by yourself, and you just black out all you know is you you know sometimes like my development was there's been times where like I don't got nobody it's just me and then there's sometimes where it's like I was in Atlanta I was talking to you know what I'm saying <laughs> sorry I got a little emotional type shit <laughs> cause when I was in Atlanta I was like really in the cold where it was freezing cold I had my suitcases with me you feel me and I was really about to give up every hotel I had booked, my backup hotels, everything I thought I did to make everything work didn't work. Now I'm in the fucking cold. This was the time that you um, spoke on that you're, you were homeless? Nah, this, this was time? after, this is a different time. I was like a tour. I went to uh, Atlanta, and this time I was in freaking um, Albany, Georgia, because I stopped down there. I said, like, okay, cool. It's gonna be some talent out there. I met some good artists out there, but it's like you know, the energy different. They really on that street shit, but it's kind of like I recorded like three songs over there too. But mid between all that, I was really about to give up, and it was like this didn't even come from inside. Normally, like my inspiration comes from the inside, but it came from like, yo, so many people believe in you right now, bro. You can't die here. You can't crash out here either. Because it's just showing that, bro, my little brother, he look up to me, man. I hate to say it, bro. He be loving the videos where the strippers be in there. I'm like, man, I know that's what people like. But when I hear that from him, I'm like, bro, man, you ain't getting none of the knowledge, dog. You right, know? right. Trying to mix the mess with the candy type. Right. Yeah. yeah. But I also know, like, you know, I pray to God. Like, sometimes I be like, I don't be in a strip club. Like, I pray to God because it's like, I don't like being in strip clubs. But it's also, too, I know it's something I got to do. Sometimes it's cool hanging out with the buddies. You feel me? Like, I could post up with my homies at a strip club. But it's also like, I also know too, if I see a chick, chick shaking ass, she on the clock, she working. And I respect her hustle. So it's like, man, you did a good job. You did a good job. You did a good job. You feel me? I thought you did a good job. It's like, like sometimes it's not even an attraction, it's just a respect. Okay, that girl went up there and worked her ass off. In that same, same regards, <laughs> I gave it a tip when you're at a restaurant or something. Exactly. Like, I see what you did there. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you feel me? And sometimes it's like, I don't even throw it, I just like, because. I don't throw it, I hand it to her. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it's like those old tools. Sometimes I talk to them. They're people too, you feel me? So it's like, they it's like, are. I talked to a little shorty, you know what I'm saying? She broke it down. I was like, you nice as hell. You feel me? And after the conversation, I to give her some bread. I was like, hey, I know you all here trying to make your money, bro. You feel me? And like, the time you spent talking to me, you could have been out there shaking your ass. You feel me? Yeah. And sometimes people say, hey, how you cool with shorty? I was like, oh, she a dancer. And some people think like, because I know so many dancers... I was like, nah, we don't got that type of relationship. That's sis right there. That's that's one girl. Like, you know, she needs some Jesus, buddy. You know, that's she cool as fuck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, do you uh, do you have like a specific? Maybe it was the first one. Maybe it was the most impactful like conversation or like like you said, can be a platonic relationship with a stripper, like somebody who just like kind of like wow. The first great, time, great re perspective. No, this this was stripper bro. and like it's just cause she was the baddest bit in there. All due respect, you built like my type, but we ain't never going to be like that because a bunch of things is why I ain't going to come out of that type of way. But the first time I performed Come Up, this was the first, uh, um, shit, this was the first remake. So, because the remake, it was two different remakes. 
You feel me? So the first one, that, I think the day after, freaking, um, I'm in the, I'm the, I'm the way with T Swiss. You feel me? We going to La Palace. Ladon was in La Palace doing your homework. Ladon being in La Palace. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he's like, bro, you gotta perform this shit. And then B Slim, shout out to B Slim. You feel me? We doing a Bacardi party together. Tap in with B Slim. Shout he's out. Like, he's like, bro, that shit should be on the radio. I performed that song. Now I'm already like, you know, like when some chicks see you, like, or people in general, when they see you supporting another yeah. artist, most of the time they don't see you as an artist. They say, oh, that's the hype, hype man right now. Yeah. And I say, oh, that's one of the groupie niggas. I'm like, Shit, that's my dog. He go hard. I listen to his music. He listen to my music. But a lot of people don't see that often in music. So when I get up there to perform, Shorty got that dump on her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She's built <laughs> right. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? And she throwing that thing back. But the thing is, I got a girl at the top. And I respect for my Shorty. I'm trying to keep like three feet distance. But she keep backing that thing on me. I'm like, bro, this girl working. I see the love. I'm throwing ones on me. You feel me? I'm throwing ones and I'm running away. <laughs> yeah, bro. I don't right, care. Okay. I was running for the pussy. But I was like... I'm on camera too. I said, bro, I really, because I was promoting, remember the, the takeover, right? Yeah. That was before the takeover. I'm promoting the takeover too. I'm like, bro, everybody know I go crazy in these parties. I got to let them know LaDawn out here. Man, I was going to do, but I said, like, I got to respect my lady. I show her the video. I tell her everything I do at the night, you feel me? Because I'm going to keep it real with her. Now... Sometimes she go through my phone, she sees some stuff. I'm like, bro, I was trying to tell you. You tell me it wasn't a good time. You feel me? And then I just respected you say it wasn't a good time. But you trying to act like I was trying to hide some shit. That's not me. You feel me? I was going to keep it real with you. But you talk, she be like, sometimes. You she, said you had a headache. I don't like, I was about to. Exactly. I was about to go in. But it's a long story, too. You feel me? A, I, I, was, I was thinking about you in that moment. I was not. <laughs> I was thinking about you, but not in a good way. Like, I wasn't like, Oh, this my, my girl. My girl be shaking it like that. I wasn't thinking like that. I was like, damn, my girl gonna be mad, but it's some content. Mm. And this girl throwing. I was like, man, I didn't, I didn't come with no money to throw because I just came to support my boy. But I was like, yo, we in Orlando. You know what I'm saying? We in a La Palace. It's a beautiful place. Beautiful ladies. They probably gonna listen to this song, fall in love with the song. You feel me? Now, every time they hear that song, they going, you know what I'm saying? Thinking of, it's an investment. But then I'm like, Shorty showed so much love up there, bro. If I had 300, I would have gave it to. Her. You know what I'm saying? Not like even just throw, because like, because here's the thing some people don't understand. Strippers are like models, like video vixens, whatever you want to call them, right? You can pay a model $300 just to be in the music video. Strippers, whatever you throw at them, that's just all they have to take. But like, I know the amount of effort she took and put into that, that she didn't need to. Where There was like seven dancers for T-Swiss video. Mm -hmm. And this one shorty pull up, and she'll respect. We just talked for a little bit, like four or five minutes. I don't even remember what we talked about. But like she showed respect with that shit. I'm like, yo, you real right? That's a real motherfucker right there. I was like, yo, whoever know who Shorty is right there, let me get her contact. Cause I got a couple of strippers contacts. I just don't talk to them. Cause like, what the hell are we gonna talk about? Yeah, See? type shit. But honest, like, if an opportunity pops up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get well, that. With her, legit, bro. Like, she don't even gotta do my videos. I'm like, shit. What do you wanna do with your life? You feel me? Oh, I really wanted to bake. Shit, I know, I know. People got baking company. All right, fuck, fuck, you don't got to do shit no more. Some people might call it Captain Save a Ho type shit, but it's like, if my homie short on some shit, I'm going to look out for him. If homegirl short on some shit, I'm going to look out for her too. You like being a dot connector. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's, uh, that's, I don't know if that's a lost art, but that's something that's throughout the years has always been a prevalent kind of person, right? The person who's able to mend bridges together and then mm -hmm. start that conversation, relationship, whatever it might be. Yeah. Is there anybody that you look up to, like from uh, whether, you know, it could be personal, it could be celebrity, it could be just somebody who like was a thought leader at one point, somebody that you're sitting there and you're like, you know what? Alex Mack. Don't even, I haven't got enough. Nah, see, they don't know you like I know you though. You feel me? All right. So like, met Alex Mack, right? I still got the picture of when we first met, I still, you know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a tough picture. Yeah. yeah. That wasn't even a fact when we first met. The time yeah. we first met, I lost that phone. But I was happy as fuck. When we remember we was taking that picture, I was happy as fuck to tell you. I said, like, yo, I fought with her. I ain't got that picture. But I know this one's going to be harder because I actually <laughs> got a photographer this time. I got a photographer with me. We performing. I got a photographer. I got a video crew and everything at the time. So I was like, shit, yeah, this shit going to be tough. You see? And you was in that video. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Last year, you was in that last year video. And it's crazy because last year, at the time we recorded that song, was when we met. 
I was like, yo, this nigga really like tough. I fought with it. And I didn't it. Okay. So we got Outlandish inspired me in some ways on a poetic side. His artistic side, he's inspired me. I like, you know. Uh Tay the Don, he inspires me. Kind of like how he's a promoter, host, internet personality. Some stuff he do, I can't never replicate. I just respect it. You feel me? And it's like, shit. He done did this shit. I know I can do that. You know what I'm saying? Because when he has an event, he promotes the fuck out of that shit. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Alex Mack, you know what I'm saying? We both some suave players. You feel me? It's just like, you know, God took away my hair. So you would have some big competition if I had some hair, my boy. I appreciate you deciding to pull out of that race, bro. I don't know. <laughs> ah, shit, I had no choice. <laughs> my shit was pushing back. <laughs> you thought, look, like, like, you thought I was a convertible the way that shit just <laughs> really? <laughs> disappeared. <laughs> shit, what? shit, man, luxury, baby. <laughs> But look, man, my mom used to tell me, you said, oh, these girls ain't gonna love you just because you're cute. I said, mama, they hate to say that I am. Oh, man, was calling me ugly. I said, man, you know you call me daddy when I'm low. Don't even play with me now. <laughs> man. <laughs> Shit, because they used to call me a player. I did, I, the thing is, I was one of those kids, like, because I was to myself, people's opinions really mattered to me as a kid. So when people, this one teacher called me a liar. And I was like, I, probably, I'm a, I grew up Christian, bro. I studied buzz, uh, Buddhism. And I was at some sort of Hindu too, some Muslim Buddhism. But I stick to Buddhism because it's like, you know, the structure of life, you feel me? Like, it makes more sense because it's like, okay, structure your mind, body, and soul. Christianity, that's what my mom raised me on. So I was like, oh, I ain't no liar. She called me a liar. I said, fuck it, I'm lying to everybody then. Because if that's what y'all going to put on my name, you feel me? Fuck it. If you can't do the crown, do the time. Shit, if you're going to give me some time, I might as well do the crown. The fuck yeah, I'm that talking point. about? Yeah, I, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that too. And then, like, you know, Charges was calling me a player. I was like, nah, it's just like, I really view women as people. But it's like, when you understand women at a point, there's some girls where it's like, when you take your time to understand them, you try to get to know them, like, you know, as a person, because they don't experience that before, it's like, oh, you like me. <laughs> but you ain't that cute. But I fucked, though. And then it's like, ah. But then it turns to a whole different situation now. It's like, oh, don't want to be fuck buddies and shit. It's like, nah, I really, I got respect for you. It's just like... You know what I'm saying? You took what I said the wrong way. Now you took that the wrong way, but now I gotta understand too. I'm a child. I'm still learning. So we both <laughs> trying to learn and we both make some mistakes. And sometimes it's the best mistakes you've ever made. Bar. Shit. That is wild though. Is there any mistakes that you look back at and you say like, mm, at one point I was like, damn, I don't know. And then you look at it and you're like, this sent me on a whole nother. Because I was having a conversation with somebody where they were saying like, uh, with music and hip-hop, they're like, yeah, I probably would have never met you, I never would have met Cuz, like, I would have been on this path, but because I did make this, which some people, like, whatever, like, you know, some mm -hmm. parents might sit there and act like whatever, but is there a moment where you sit there like, damn, I thought this was an L, or somebody told me it was an L, but it ended up being, like, a, a great moment in retrospect? Man. Or is that just all moments to you? It's a lot of moments like that, because, like, um, I still suffer from complex PTSD, so sometimes I wake up and I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Shit, I'm up again. But then I got to roll out of bed and be like, I'm up again. I can fight some more. I, mm -hmm. I, got, I still got some fight in me. And then there's sometimes where it's like, oh, I got to get up and do this. I got to get up and do that. I'm complaining about it, but I'm grateful because there was like, shit, there was times I wish I could have did this. You feel me? If I had these opportunities when I was 16, like where I could really just get up and go do it, boy, oh, shit, I, I kept doing it. <laughs> you feel me? If I was 12 and I had these opportunities right here, you know what I'm saying? Instead of just post it up, you know what I'm saying? Just wasting time, you know, making somebody else some money. I can make some opportunities for myself. But I can say with relationships, with songs, um, Jazzy Rockstar, we had a song, uh, Drip Like Water. Mm -hmm. uh, I did the hook on that. And I fucked with it, but I also didn't fuck with it at the same time. Because it was like, it's not me. A lot of times people was like, oh, I want you to be on a, on a freaking um, a feature. Send me the thing. Because the thing is, like, it's not my song. So I got to find where I fit in on it. Right? So sometimes it's like, okay, I hear, I hear what you say. Like, when you sent me that uh, song with me, you, and Atlanta on, I was like, it took me, like, what, five minutes to write the, write, write the shit? Damn near. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, cool. Because I, I know the vibe of what I'm going for. And I know you. But then it was like, okay. We also had some moments together. So it's kind of like, it's easy to write something with somebody that you already have experiences with. And we have these conversations. But... Some songs I do, I was like, that's not me. 
Drip like oil. I was like, shit, that's not me. But I, I still look like that shit. I still bump it sometimes, you feel me? You were rocking out last time that I won. Yeah. 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 I see, get what you're that? saying, though, but like, hell yeah, it's a moment. It's a moment. It's also sometimes, too, sometimes it's just like, you feel like you're doing something just to do it. You know what I'm saying? Right then, my cup is empty. Thank <laughs> you. Excuse me, Miss Bartender Lady. You know what I'm I play with the, with the girl. I'm like, man. Yeah, that's sweet as hell, man. Mm-hmm. You walking around here barefoot. I can't lie. I feel like low key on wood. Mm. A little different. Would you walk? Uh, where's your opinion on that? Because I know, like, there's a big difference. We're in Florida. But, like, I know when I moved down here, it was like, a, damn, you wearing no socks? Slides, bro? Oh, man. I'm from Culture. the islands. Respect, yeah, yeah. And I'm Haitian, so I really don't like shoes for real. But I like shoes because it's like, it really, it's like a whole different persona when I put on shoes. Oh, you got me exactly what I like, too. <laughs> Thank you. Get yourself a cup. Wait, which one of y'all driving? Probably me. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's twin right there. We dangerous. You feel me? <laughs> but, um, yeah, so sometimes it's like, this could be songs. It could be ideas. I take risks all the time. Sometimes it's like, some people be trying to remind me of events. I'm like, I said, bro, I'm fucked up all the time. You feel me? Sometimes, like, um, you know, Wordplay, he had asked me, yo, man, how do you do all this? How do you manage all this? I'm like, I told him a little secret. You feel me? And he might thought it was a joke. I'm like, that ass, bro. I, I deal with my problems the best I could. Sometimes people be like, oh, what's the magic behind it? It's like, I'm tired of stress all the time. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it is what it is, though. Because again, I used to pray for times like this. Now I got it. Now shut the fuck up and deal with it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want every problem that comes with these dollars. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because these dollars going to save somebody and put them in a situation where they don't got to do some bullshit to get somewhere. You know what I'm saying? But it's also, too, it's a little frustrating where it's like, you get constant calls, people asking you for shit, and then the people that's actually trying to give you something, they're not giving you something for free. They want you to pay for this shit, and they don't want you, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, so if my name hot like that, pay me, motherfucker. And I, look, legit, I'm not even a crazy motherfucking dude when it comes to price. I'm like, just at least cover my gas deal. Type shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Cover my gas deal. I say, look, you in Orlando, I'm in Tampa, that's three to five hours away, depending on traffic. Sometimes it's 30 minutes away, but it could go from two hours to five hours. That 30 minutes could go to a long time for me just to go out there. Then I got to come back home. You feel me? I said, I'm not trying to be big at it. It's just like, bro, I'm taking time to my schedule. Like, if I could do go to any city and do what I want to do, why would I waste my money to go somewhere that's not really going to do nothing for me? Yeah. It's about trying to build them bridges, right? It's about trying to expand that and get people to recognize the business standpoint. What do you think is the number one advice that you receive or that you would give to an artist when they're trying to step up their business acumen or they're trying to like level up from a business standpoint? Is there like a moment that you remember where you're just kind of like an artist, like taking it from art to business, I guess? Fuck them. Fuck them? That was the moment? Yeah, just fuck them. Because at the end of the day, um, not everybody believed in Apple. There's niggas I hated on Apple. Niggas hated on Microsoft. Niggas hated on Jordan. Niggas hated on Nike. Niggas hated on Curry. Niggas hate on Trump. Niggas hate on Putin. Niggas hate on a whole lot of shit. But when you win it, all you got to do is win. Watch this. It may not be money. It may be fame. It may be something. Whatever it may be. All you got to do is win. Because they don't want you to win. But when you win, they love you. But always keep... Bro, keep know, keep know who really love you for real. Cause love is felt, love is understood. You could be young and you may be like, you feel the love. You know your parents love you, but it's like, man, I can't find it. Da-da-da. But you know it's love. And then when you get older, you understand why you felt some type of way. But you, in the back of mind, you knew. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. That love is really like a frequency thing. It's a vibrational thing. It's not like love is not something that you can be like. This is a couch. This is love right here, right? It's love is something that is so complex and simple at the same time. Exactly. Cause like, talk. I'd be some toxic relationships. So I was like, nah, I love Shorty, man. But yeah, I was like, no, nah, that's love. Hmm. You feel me? Like, look, I was fucked up. She was fucked up. I like I tell Shorty, it's like, be real with me. You feel me? Cause when you start lying to me, you know what I'm saying? 
like sometimes when I used to date a whole lot, I was like, you got a dude, because I don't give a fuck what you got going on, just don't make my life no harder. Yeah. Because like, <laughs> you feel me? Because I don't want to be rude to nobody. I, I respect people's relationships and everything, but it's also like this. The more you start making my life harder, I don't want you to be around at all. That's real. Yeah. I've I've asked this question to a few people this night. I'm curious about you. What are biggest red flags, top three red flags, whatever might fit into that category for you? Top three red flags? Yeah. Inconsistency. Ooh, okay, that's a bar. That was a that I heard that one before. That was number one specifically too, so. Tell you shit. Yeah. Um lack of self respect. Hadn't heard that one tonight, yeah. Um, Cause inconsistency can kind of lead to a lack of self-respect, too. Like, a inconsistency within oneself. Tight shit. Yeah. There's a word for it. I, I'm just trying to figure out, like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes the words be flying in my head. Inconsistency, lack of self-respect. Lack of drive. If you don't got no drive. Because as a hustler, bro... Sometimes people don't see it like, okay, like you see with this music shit, some people are like, oh, you ain't dropping no music. But it's like, I'm doing all this other shit though. But then it's like the shit dudes complain, artists complain about, oh, I don't have no one to do this. Oh, I did that for myself. It's like when y'all was saying, oh, he's not focused on the music, he's not focused on that. But this is part of the music too. And if I can't find the person I need to do this, I got to be the person I need to do that. You know? Some R and D, some research development type stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And it's also like it's a crazy thing, bro. I ain't trying to get no P Diddy on my side, bro. Hell <laughs> no nah. Diddy. No Diddy. No Diddy. You see me, I did a report. I'm saying this was senior year. I was with Alexis Khan in class, you feel me? <laughs> he said shout out Alexis Khan. Shout out Alexis Khan, bro, you feel me? Um, I had a crush on him for the longest, but it was also like again, I was Booty or not booty? What? Alexis Khan. You said you had a crush on her for the longest, bro. I said booty or Man, we're gonna put respect on Alexis. Man. All right, you're right, you're right, you're right. I was trying to pull you, I was trying to draw you. You held it down. I respect it. Yeah, that's my dog for real. She might not fuck with a nigga, <laughs> but like, that's my dog for real. You feel me? Because like, I had a crush on her, but it's like I was going through so much, and it was like I was going through self discovery too. Yeah. And I cared about her a lot too. When I care about somebody, like, sometimes I might come off aggressive about that person, but it's just that you don't know that person like I know him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I die for that motherfucker for real. Not Alexis, to be honest with you. Like we, like she cool as hell. I was, I put respect on her name. But I ain't gonna die for her. Like, we ain't talking so long. You know it's her saying? fault. It's not really her fault. It's All her right, fault. I'm trying to drag you down, and you just keep hiding up. I love it, man. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh man, I gotta keep it real though. It was just like it's complicated. But much love to you, Alexis. I hope you accomplish all your dreams. Um, she put me on the hockey. You said uh, the vibe. I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> no, are you, are you, are you? All right, she put me on the hockey, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Penguins. I fuck with Penguins, you know what I'm saying? We stay sharp out here. You know, slide on that ice and shit. She put me onto a lot of things, and then, like, it was also, like, um, one of those things, like, you know, when you start talking to somebody, and then they start sharing about themselves, but then you realize you start becoming more like them, but it's like, I want to be more like you, but I got to understand me, because when I become more like you, and I don't understand me, and I start, I spy as out, how do I explain, or how do I understand myself? You have a funny way of explaining, like, very common kind of, like, almost like, yeah, developmental stage kind of things in, like, a very universal kind of way. That's kind of funny with that. It's like, damn, like, I want to, but, like, I got to learn, like, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a real thing. Yeah. Especially as a jit growing up where you're kind of, like, because that's so much of, like, our world building is kind of, like, how do we, like, oh, I see this as, like, a model or a role model of what this could be, right? Mm-hmm. And then it's, like, what could be versus what I am, versus yeah. who I am. Because, yeah. like, when I try to be something else that I'm not, I just go back to being me. Like, if I get hurt, I just go back to being by myself or I go back to hustling. Because that's all I really had. Like, I love my mom. I praise her all the time, but sometimes she do some, some dumb ass shit. Like... And she knows she do some dumb ass shit, but she said, I'm, I did my best. I said, ain't nobody told you you didn't do your best. It's just you did some <laughs> dumb ass shit. You feel me? <laughs> like, can't really take that. Like, I do dumb ass shit all the yeah. time. You feel me? So that's why, man, it's okay to make mistakes. You feel me? We're young. 
and we're all kids. No matter how old you are, but you're a kid. You're not grown until you go, go back to God, you feel me? It's, yeah, when you look at the perspective of life, and it's like, oh, human beings, we've been here for a blink, right? And mm-hmm. it's like, oh, you grown. Mm-hmm. There's a willow tree out back that say differently. Yeah, bro, I'm a quarter of a century years old. You feel me? <laughs> right. I this I, this time I didn't think I was gonna live this long, bro. When I used to get in trouble, bro, they'd be like, "Make it past twenty five, bro." I kid you not. I when I graduated high school, like I said, when I met Alexis, I was like, in twelfth grade, I'm like, bro, there's a lot of dudes that died at this age, bro, right before graduation. You know what I'm saying? And there was another dude that freaking um Wharton you crash out or some shit. Yeah, he had um. Can I get some actions, please? I gotta make a little mess. That's so nasty. he he I got shot up and I was like, bro, I'm happy that nigga alive. You feel me? When I seen him and I was talking to him, he don't even realize. But to me, that was so important because I'm like, bro, you don't understand though. A lot of dudes in your situation ain't made it, bro. So when I seen him, it was a footnote to myself too. A lot of dudes in my situation didn't make it, right? So no matter how bad you may think it is, or how untouchable you think bro, you are, bro. Everybody get touched. You know what I'm saying? Everybody get touched. Life's a pedophile. Oh, so well. Do you want to elaborate on that one or do you just want that to be the uh, the bar? Age is nothing but a number to life. All right. So you just want Aaliyah. Age ain't nothing but a number. Is that my yeah. bugging? Is that Aaliyah? Is that somebody else? I don't know. Comment who. section. Tell us. Which one is it? I'm, exactly. I'm bugging. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And drop your favorite song by her, too. You know what I'm saying? But, like, yeah, aging ain't nothing but a number by life. You feel me? Kids get born for two minutes and they got passed. You know mm. what I'm saying? My mama had stillborns. My mama lost a lot of kids. So when she looked at me, it was like the one that made it. Like, I ain't did nothing yet. I was just a kid. But, like, I'm the one that's alive. Yeah. You feel me? So that was a whole lot of pressure for me. And I understand the pressure that was coming from her. It's like, I had to accomplish before I had... To, Ability to walk. I had to accomplish before, not not walk in a literal sense, but like in a figurative sense. You know what I'm saying? Before I was able to, like, I see a vision of who I wanted to be. At 25, bro, I see, like, who I'm becoming is what, what I saw. You got a man who's flawed, but a man who's loved, a man who's respected. You feel me? A man that doesn't have to bend over for nobody. Figuratively and literally. No diddy. You feel me? No diddy. No diddy. You know what I'm saying? But, with all of that going in, bro, it's like everybody's story is different, but we're all the same, bro. That's the funny thing. I feel like the more you talk to people, the more you realize how similar we are. We're just like so fucking slightly, just a little, and then it just kind of creates a different like light gang, curve. Like gang banging, like in the islands, and gang banging over here is different. Because gang Bring banging, it gang banging in the islands ain't really gang banging. It's kind of like, thank you, love. You know what I'm saying. It, game banging over here, there's a lot of history. It's kind of like, I don't fuck with that side. The youngest don't know why, but the old Jesus like, oh, he fucked my bitch. And then I shot at his crib. The bullet hit so-and-so. And then they got to get back for so-and-so. And that was this, this, and that. And it was politics at the time, too, because we trying to build a community. But we got to get on this corner because this corner is right off the highway, off the interstate. It's going to make money. But we can't work with those people because they already had a situation over there because of the shootout and da-da-da. Now, that's why on this street, you cool on this street, but as moments you side pass on that street, situations. Damn, as soon as you broke it down, I understood everything, bro. As soon as you broke it down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, shit be like that. 